Hello everyone, it is Laughing Games here, and I played a 2v2. It, I mean, I was just playing some StarCraft, and apparently we played a game that was worth showing to you guys. So, we were playing a 2v2 uh, with a random buddy that I met on Ladder, and uh, so... As you, guys, as you guys may notice, it's on Dusty Gorge. I don't know the 2v2 maps, but... Uh, so basically, we have a Terran and a Zerg versus a Terran and a Zerg. And if you're paying any attention to to the chat, they're my teammate. Well, I am going for a 13-12, so basically you're going to be spamming Zerglings, Banelings, basically rushing, because that's what you do when you play your off-race, right? And then my teammate is actually going to be going for a, a Reapers. Now, so that's our plan. We're just trying to work our way up the ladder, so uh, our MMR sort of goes up to uh, the proper point. Now, if we look at uh, our opponent here, Bilsh. Uh, Bilsh happens to be making some some two racks of his own. And then Elsevad happens to be making his own pool and his own gas. So if you're sort of cluing into this right now, we've got mirror builds on the way. And so we're going to be having Reapers and Zerglings versus Reapers and Zerglings. And this is this is why this game is so absurd. I figured I'd show you guys. So both the Terrans going for proxy racks. Both the Zergs going to be making a lot of Lings. So really it's going to be quite a crazy game here. So my Lings are about to pop out. My opponent's Lings are uh, also going to be popping out relatively soon. So, and then uh, we've got Dusty Gorge. It's this map really with quite a big center. So uh, we've got... Uh, our Lings are going to actually meet up in the map. I made a bit of a mistake there. He got uh, one of my Lings for free. And in something like this, every uh, every uh, Ling matters, so to speak. So I uh, pull back, rally to the rest of my Lings here. And then we're going to meet up and have a uh, battle here. Other guy tries to run away. I mean, I'm commentating Ling versus Lings. I do catch two of his Lings here. That was pretty important. So as far as the uh, crazy thing comes, then I see, oh, this guy's got a Reaper. I better retreat and wait for my teammates even more Reapers. And so I'm trying to uh, just catch this one Reaper, but then I'll soon see that there's another Reaper on the way. My teammate's Reaper comes in. So we have a, a bit of a micro war going on right now. I mean, not the best micro. I'm not a fantastic Zerg player. Now my speed is about a second behind, so I do uh, sort of get punished for this. Then we see that my see that that guy has multiple reapers, and that's when you clue, and that's when you're like, oh god. So I'm just trying to do the best I can with my lanes, try and sort of catch these reapers. However, it's not working, so I have to turn and fight because my speed was a second behind. So I lose a fair share of my own zerglings there. My uh, teammate's doing his own sort of thing with the reapers there. I decided to maybe try and catch them, but ultimately I have to pull back until I get the uh, remainder of my lings popping out here. My queen also, by the way, did happen to kill a overlord, which was a nice pickoff. So now uh, me and my teammate are actually sort of on the back foot right now. Uh, I mean, my teammate's making his own reapers, but then so are our opponents. So I've made a fair few more lings, so I'm just trying to catch the reapers here. Blue decides to start making banelings, uh, sort of up in the ante. Well, I've, I say that as I've got my own banelings here. I'm going to try and bait out his bane links over they're not quite done yet so this is a bit of a crazy 2v2 it's a uh, quite a cheesy full na game here i've got my links trying to avoid eating those reaper grenades i didn't actually see that in the game but he really hit his he really hit his teammates uh, units there reaper's very good at uh, focusing down bane links so uh, my teammates take care of that just trying to take care of everything there so at this point we start forcing our opponents back Okay, so here we are. We've got uh, my buddy's reapers chasing his, my lings fighting his. Uh, so we're sort of even right now. I mean, if we look at the uh, look at the supply, we're actually pretty much dead on even. My teammate has a few more reapers, however, uh, and he actually does get into this guy's main. This is where it really starts going well for us. Let's put the game back into normal speed right now. So uh, my two Reapers sort of just going to, well, my teammates' two Reapers just going to hold the line. I figure, you know, let's try and break down this ramp if I can get them in there. I know I didn't have enough bait links, but then with my teammates' help and the Reapers, we are going to get on in there. By the way, me and my teammate in this game, we were not on voice chat or anything like that. It was all done through text and whatnot, and then just sort of thinking up. I'm trying to focus down as many of the Reapers as I can. I do get a wrapper on most of them there. Some Banelings do come in, get a few connections, but nothing major. And at this point, this guy's losing pretty much all of his workers here, so it's looking, it's looking a little rough for this team right now. 
He's trying to make his own Reapers, however, they're not rallied out quite properly. His teammate's coming in with the lings to save him, and if we look at the units count, his teammate has squeezed in a few drones. Not, I'm not sure it's uh, quite enough drones to bring him back in this game. So at this point, we're really putting the, uh, putting the herd on this guy. And now uh, the map positioning on this is a little weird. I mean, the bases are directly connected to each other, so it's sort of weird. You go through one base and you've got the other guy. Could have got this around on that Reaper, so this guy has the uh, odd unit or two. He's got a decent bank, so he was able to keep producing units here. He is going to have to retreat. Now we've got uh, some Ling Bane Micro going on the way. I'm going to have going to intercept those Lings and Banes. So this guy's just sort of trying to hold his own here. He's going to try and save his teammates Reaper. He's going to maybe get us around on some of my uh, opponents. This guy was also planning on going into Roaches at this point. Roaches are a, a pretty bold move when uh, when you've got a ton of Lings and Reapers already on top of you. It's quite an investment right now. <laughs> I mean, my two Bane Lings here, they're just going to chase these Lings around for so long right now. So this is just an absolutely full-on 2v2 NA game. I'm trying to get the connection there. I possibly could have detonated that Baneling and gotten him there, but he still just decides to run away, run away home. The Banelings do end up detonating, and my teammate has his Reapers here. Well, actually, those are his guys' Reapers, pardon me, and I think I actually got confused in the game there a little bit. My teammate, though, he still really has an overwhelming amount of Reapers is working away on these units here, so this is really the uh, beginning of the end for this, for NA Team 1. I just thought that this game was cool enough to show you guys, so it's a Reapers versus Reapers, Zerglings versus Zerglings, a bit of a crazy game. But uh, ultimately, I think that's just about it. I mean, I thought that this would be a good uh, good video to start the day off with. I'm uh, just continuing to make the links. I think I even threw up a hatchery at some point, so I start transitioning. But uh, there isn't really much of a way for us to lose this game. His teammates really trying to hang on, dropping the mules, trying to produce whatever he can. Making like uh, one or two Reapers at a time. His teammate's hatchery goes down. This guy uh, never did try making any roaches here, and he did have a fair few... Oh, that was his teammate, pardon me. I'm actually not too sure about the uh, resources. Okay, so, uh, yeah, he actually didn't have too many resources. Well, that's army value, pardon me. Anyway, GG gets called, and that's the game. That was the uh, crazy 2v2. I just thought I'd show you guys. If you liked the video, feel free to like. If you uh, enjoy the content, as you haven't subscribed yet, feel free to subscribe. Otherwise, I shall see you guys next time.